Hello faculty. We have identified that VidGrid quizzes cannot be relinked through the automated scripts. This is because of the LTI tool differences between VidGrid quizzes and Yuzha quizzes. We wanted to go ahead and let you know this now so you can begin the process of setting up your quizzes as you have time to prepare for the spring semester. The good news is that your quizzes are in your Yuzha account and simply need to be named appropriately in Yuja and then linked in your Blackboard courses. We will need everyone to relink any quizzes you wish to use after this semester. The quizzes, as they are linked to VidGrid in your courses now, will work for the rest of this semester, but they will not function after the end of the year because our VidGrid access will end. In this video, we are going to show you the steps you need to take to link your quizzes from your Yuja account to your courses in Blackboard. There are three things that need to happen. First, you will need to name your quizzes in Yuja to something you can recognize to search when you begin to complete the relinking. This is because by default, all quizzes are named video quiz. So if you had many quizzes, it would be difficult to understand which quiz to choose when you go to relink. Second, you will need to add these quizzes to your Blackboard lessons. And then finally, you will need to remove the old VidGrid quiz items and grade columns from your Blackboard courses. Let's get started. Okay, so we're first gonna rename the quizzes in Yuja. You're going to log in to your Yuja account by opening a browser and going to waketech.video.yuja.com. You could also access Yuja by clicking the Yuja link within Blackboard. Either way, you're going to log in using your email address and password that you use for all of your other WakeTech accounts. Once you're in Yuja, you will see your media library and you should see folders that you used in VidGrid. When your content was transferred from grid, VidGrid to Yuja, the same folders came over as they were in your VidGrid account. Navigate to a folder or class that you know has a quiz. All quizzes came over with the title Video Quiz. You will need to rename those so you can easily find them in Blackboard when you go to Relink the items. Hover over the video that has quiz questions and click on more. When the media details dialog box opens, click on quizzes on the left pane. You should see video quiz status draft for quiz once you're there. If you do not see this, you selected a video that did not have quiz questions attached, so you would need to go back and locate the correct item. Once you have the correct item, click Edit. You're going to replace the title Video Quiz with a title that you will recognize as this specific quiz when you go to search for it in Blackboard. You can do this for all of your quizzes now, or you can do one at a time and relink each after you edit in Yuja, whichever process you think will be easier for you. Next, click the Save button and it will return you to your media library. Okay, now we're ready to link our Yuja quizzes in Blackboard. Start by logging into Blackboard and navigating to the course where you need to add the quizzes. Then navigate to the lesson folder location where you want the quiz to appear. Then click Build Content and choose Yuja Media Chooser from the menu. When the media chooser launches, choose quizzes. So then you're going to select the quiz item you want to insert into the lesson by clicking it from the list. If you have a lot of quizzes, you can use the search title or description term box to type in the title of the quiz as you named it in the previous process. Once you have clicked on the correct quiz, click the Insert Content button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. This will add the quiz to your course. Okay, now we're ready for the last step. 
Now we're going to remove the old VidGrid quizzes and the gradebook columns from your Blackboard course. In your Blackboard course, navigate to the location of a VidGrid quiz. Click the down arrow beside the quiz title and choose Delete. Click OK to confirm the deletion. Now you're going to need to go to your Grade Center. Find the column for the associated VidGrid quiz. Click the down arrow, choose Delete column, and click OK to confirm the deletion. This wraps up the steps that you will need to take to relink your old VidGrid quizzes to Yuja within your Blackboard courses. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at elson at waketech.edu and someone will be happy to help you. Thank you and have a great afternoon.